Thank you, and that was far too much praise uh, for me. Uh, good morning to all of you, and thank you for having me here today and allowing me to explain a little bit about how the Netherlands is uh, working on the energy transition, and especially on the acceleration. My name is Manon Janssen. I am the chair of the Top Sector Energy, and I'll explain what that exactly is. And I also have a regular day job. That is the CEO of Ecoris, one of the oldest European professional services firms working on the grand societal challenges and challenges we do have. Um, about seven years ago, at the onset of the financial economic crisis, the top sector approach was established by the Dutch government. And its purpose was threefold, to drive innovation faster and harder in the key sectors of industry, to focus that innovation on short and long-term earnings potential, so innovation linked to, uh, to earnings, and to create efficiencies and synergies in the approach. And this approach works in a golden triangle, or rather what we now call the platinum square. It's a public-private partnership between governments, industry, knowledge institutes, and people in this country. Uh, and back then we identified nine sectors of industry, nine top sectors, in which the Netherlands have a very strong economic and knowledge foundation. And these top sectors drive and facilitate innovation, whether that be technological, social, economic, build new skills to compete in the international arena through the human capital agenda because we need lots of new people, new skills for those new jobs and to help address societal challenges. Um, why do we focus on innovation or why did we focus then on innovation? Well, the Netherlands is one of the most prosperous countries, certainly in our hemisphere. Our econ economy is doing very well, as indicated by our fourth place in the 2017 Global Competitive in this Competitiveness Report after the USA, Switzerland and Singapore. But we do not for a moment believe that that prosperity is our birthright. We have to work really hard to maintain that position. And we also believe that innovation is essential to this. It's innovate or die also for transition questions and also for the government. We also believe that innovation happens best when in this golden triangle where each partner can play his or her role optimally. And this is very particular to the Dutch culture. And importantly, we happen, happen to believe that the agenda of the top sectors can and will help better societies, not only more thriving economies. So it is about creating a better place to live. The top sector energy has a specific purpose. And that's really to drive the energy transition forward. So our job is to transition to an energy system that is simultaneously clean, affordable and reliable. And that is the definition of sustainable. And one that is at the same time a good business case. It is not philanthropy, this is actually good business. Short term, we pursue the goals of our 2013 energy deal, which was the Dutch version of the German Energiewende. And long term, our goal is really to create a CO2 free society by no later than 2050 and any faster that we can. Top sector energy contributes to both the short term and the long term goals by delivering the building blocks for such a sustainable energy system. And we do this through our five innovation hubs that we call Top Consortia for Knowledge and Innovation. Don't ask me why we call it that way, but that's what it is. And I think of this as our five innovation centers at the highest level in this country. These innovation hubs drive innovation programs, very specific lines, together with the industry, knowledge partners, and the government in a true public-private partnership in, we, in which the innovation funds are also shared. The government typically puts in half of the money and we raise half of the money from the market and that gives us an incredible leverage. Um, so what we do is really to, I'm not sure if this is working, I think this, yep, yeah, I'm sorry, I went a little bit too fast. Yeah, I missed one slide, that's okay. So what we really do is to, to be the driving force behind those innovations which we think are needed to move forward to that affordable, reliable, and sustainable, sustainable energy system. And that means we work across all the technology readiness levels. And that's important because often innovation gets stuck in the valley of death. We also widen the definition of innovation because it's not just about technology, it's about innovating economic systems, about adapting market systems and regulations, and about creating um, uh, a culture among our people that actually embraces those new uh, wind parks, whether they're on sea or on land. Um, 
Now, in fact, the top sector energy is, I think, at its best, a system connector. We are actually the party that connects all of the different parties that play a role in this very complex transition. Um, and that's probably our biggest achievement today. And that hap happens at the highest level of the, uh, in this country. But we also believe that we are actually um, not doing uh, very, uh, work very, very fast. Even though our achievements to date are quite um, impressive, we have now over 1,600 parties that are a member of the top sector energy. We have over 500 active projects, which are in a very wide range from heat pumps to blue piling from smart energy cities to membranes in the process industry. We've created over 10 centers of expertise and centers for innovative craftsmanship. And we've developed an export agenda that has been of particular interest to China, which we call the Sustainable Urban Delta. At the same time, we also know that speed is of the essence. We are not going fast enough. And the only real enemy, we believe, is time. And whatever picture you draw on a, on a chart, we are behind our targets. And in the Netherlands, it's simply a fact that most of our energy still comes from fossil-based fuels, which is not what we want it to be. Um, so at the same time, right, we also know that the type of challenges we face and the type of innovation we must drive forward is actually becoming more complex and more uh, difficult to work through. Um, whether you talk about hydrification or electrification, the intermittency to, to be able to deliver energy to where it is needed at the time it is needed with minimal storage because that's simply not very effective, is actually one of the most complex uh, questions that we have in this country. And therefore, we know that the cooperation between all parties is probably the most important facilitator, perhaps even more important than the money stream per se. Um, Digitalization is for us a key challenge, and it's been the key theme of our work for this year. And digitalization for us is both a, uh, an absolute opportunity, but also a threat. The opportunity to make everything transparent, we think, is wonderful. But the threat, the cybersecurity, and the first attack on energy companies, which happened a couple of weeks ago, is just going to become more apparent. So digitalization for us is a, is a really important topic. And we also believe that actually cooperation in innovation is going through digital lines. So this, the, the picture you see here on the screen is how our digital team views uh, the, how the system is going to, uh, to evolve from a centralized, 100 years of centralized uh, uh, government to a decentralized energy system that is actually going to be distributed and where the power, not energy power, where the power of, uh, of demand and of supply is going to be distributed over the different parties um, uh, in, in, the, uh, in the energy market. Really important, we think, is the role of government. And that role, we think, is also cha uh, changing, especially as we are on the verge of having a new government, hopefully next week. Um, the top sector is not a government tool, but it is a tool that works in between government and market. And we believe, together with government actors, that there's really two types of innovation. Innovation on in processes and products, but also innovations on systems of coherent technology, infrastructure, and social economic dimensions. And actually, the system dimension, the system questions are the ones that we are particularly keen on pursuing right now. The government will take action where the biggest changes are needed. And their role is going to be to set a vision for the future of this country. What do we want to be in 10 years from now, 20 years from now? To help create markets and to facilitate innovation and to draw, to, to build a climate where parties will feel comfortable setting up their businesses in the Netherlands. To focus on innovations for the system change. And we're going to do that by driving what we call multi-annual research and development programs working across borders, because you simply cannot get that innovation off the ground if you get stuck into the one-year policy cycles. So right now we are working on what we call the energy transition paths, and they are they will hold the roadmaps uh, towards that decarbonized future, uh, and they will have policy making as an integral role into, um, into that vision. Um, Quite a few challenges for utilities, for you, um, whether, and I'm, yes, it's coming on here. You know, you don't need me to tell you that, that the energy market is changing. The role of your clients is changing. And who is going to be the client next is a key question. Um, so you must be looking for a new role. If you're not, then you're probably in the wrong room here. 
What is that role going to be? Are you going to be an aggregator? Are you going to be a service provider? And that gives you great, great new challenges and uh, and new ways to cooperate and a bright new future ahead. Um, I believe life is always about change. In fact, the only constant in change life and the only constant in life is change as any of you who have children will uh, agree with me uh, you never know what's going to come next but you better go with the flow and if anything stay ahead of that um, it's also encouraging i think to uh, to realize that other industries have gone before you i worked for quite a while in the lighting industry and 10 years ago we made the move or 15 years ago we made the move from incandescent lamps to leds and i work for a company called philips and their business was in incandescent lamps and the future was going to be LEDs. And I still remember standing up in the boardroom uh, telling my colleagues that this was not about the lamps we built, but it's about providing light to live life. It was from going from lumen to human. The energy transition is just the same. You're not going to be selling kilowatts anymore. You're going to be selling, enabling uh, life itself. And that's going to be your role. I think you have a bright future ahead. I think it's also quite some challenges. And the only thing we know for sure is that nothing is going to be the same after. Um, we, Top Sector Energy, have a stand uh, downstairs. We invite you all to come and look at some of the projects we've enabled. And we'd love to, uh, to reflect with you and help you through uh, the future uh, and, and to get to that phase where we can talk about a truly sustainable energy system. Thank you very much.